Be not afraid of my form, mortal. Thy nightmare is past, and thou remainest fast asleep. I am a guardian against the waking evil in pony dreams. I am Princess Luna. I know each pony in Equestria. I know their thoughts, their hopes, their dreams. I have seen their pasts and futures, and I subtly influence them towards their best future. Thou, however, art different. This is my first time seeing thee. A blank canvas lies before me. Thou art new to this place, yes? It is a strange and wonderful place thou hast come to, mortal. Thy first night in Equestria. From whence didst thou come? Oh, I see. An anomaly has taken a hold of thy faith. This is not thy proper place in the universe. Thou belongest back on Earth. Surely thou must feel scared to be ripped across time and space into a land not meant for thee. I can only imagine. Art thou alone? Tis only thy first day in a new land. No one makes many new friends on the same day, except for Twilight Sparkle, but she is a different matter entirely. Yes, I am the Princess of the Night as well. Mine appearance doth declare it. Why dost thou ask? You like the night sky. W what? D I... I must record this in my mind. I have not received a compliment on my night sky for weeks now. I work hard every night to create the perfect landscape. And here you come along with such touching words. Enrapturing. Entrancing. Stunning. My goodness, I... I don't know what to say. I never knew ponies enjoyed the night more than the day. Well, that is true. More celestial bodies are in the night than in the day. It allows for greater patchworks of beauty, I've noticed, that the harsh light of day drives away. Would you like to see it in all its splendor? Excellent. As you can see above you, the constellations are especially clear. I made the stars in them have more distinct lights than the surrounding ones. There is little I can do about the faraway suns. They are balls of flame millions of miles away after all. But I do what I can to make my subjects satisfied with my gift. The moon. Oh, that is my crown jewel in the night sky. The moon in particular holds a special place in my heart. See the markings on my flank? If I push it closer, wilt thou notice? Why art thou blushing? <laughs> I am showing you who I am. There is no shame in that. Oh, oh, I can see now how this can be. Promiscuous. Ahem, <clears throat> my bad. If thou wilt examine the strange marking, from a distance, for thy comfort, you will see a sliver of silver. The moon and I are physically connected in more ways than one. Well, that means, see, I was within the moon, shall we say, for many, many years. I gaze upon it from time to time and am reminded of what I did to get there. It can hurt, but it also helps in a way. It keeps selfish thoughts down. It also reminds me of the beauty within us all. And strangely enough, it's like a friend. You can't stay in the presence of the moon for a thousand years and not develop some connection to it. The moon is a guide to me, a face of beauty, a shining light to illuminate the path of life I must walk. For a land filled with friendship, you would expect me to find more friends. But I often feel lonely. The night's work is a solitary task. I find no room for others to enter. But thou art different, somehow. There is a special sliver of moonlight in you that I cannot ignore. 
I wish to know more about thee. Please, thou art a curiosity the likes of which I have never seen before. And you do not make me anxious or give off a suspicious vibe. Thou art pleasant to be around. You are sweet and respectful. You seem so fascinated by my life's work as well. I wonder, I do desire that we may be closer in body and mind. Speaking of mind, if you don't mind, may I see thy... your memories? Why? Because our dreams are created from our memories, mortal. They are the basis of our imagination. Only by seeing thy past may I be able to draw closer to thee. Very well. Hold still. I shall press my horn to thy forehead. Thou dost deserve better than this. Thy life indeed seemest miserable. The same thing day after day with barely a moment to relax or express thy true emotions. Hardly is there an ear to listen to thy troubles. Barren is thy bed save for thee, and restless is thy sleep. I shall tell thee, however, that this means thou hast done far more than the ponies in this world. Every day is bright and lovely. They know not the tribulation thou had to experience. As a result, you were far less disillusioned. But thou art also much more lifeless. Thou hast not the chance to act on thy desires. That is the only reason thy goals have gone unrealized. Opportunity is often thin on the ground. But I say to thee, mortal, that thou, you, are grander than you realize. Gaze upon me. These next words are important. Be not weary in well-doing, mortal. Thou art laying the foundation of a great work. You and Ponykind are now connected. You may be the most important, special creature in Equestria now. Yes, you are special. Thy appearance is unique, I admit freely. But I did not say that you look special. I said that you are special. You are special to me. I shall give thee sweet dreams tonight, and I shall do it every night. Tis my duty. Please. Yes. I shall, I shall, to be close with thee as thou liest fast asleep. I can imagine no better way to pass the long night. Fall back, her bed is there. Oof. Oh, how? I thought you knew. This is a dream. I control the very fabric of this private little world. Hey, hey, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I know the extent and control of my power. I come to thee. Tell me, teaspoon or soup spoon? The teaspoon it is. <sighs> I am on you because you choose to be the little spoon, my little human. <sighs> this is lovely, won't you agree? Warmth encircling you about, and feeling the soft beat of my heart against thy back. Spreading through thy entire being. It is truly lulling. Ah, the wings. Fear not, they are soft. Please, feel them. Find out its touch. Ah, you are delicate. Please, continue. Mm, you are good at that. Mm? Don't think so lowly of yourself. Out of small things proceeds forth that which is great. It's a pattern shown throughout history. You are simply the next one that can change the world. Yes, yes, you can. If not the world itself, then someone else's world. You can make a difference. You've made a difference in my world. How you did it, that is not the issue. As I said, I do get very, very lonely. So when you come along and you say such beautiful things about me, please don't let this sully your image of me. All I want is to be your friend. I haven't had much practice, to say the least. I want to hold to you like a treasure. Yes, I truly do believe I found a treasure tonight. A treasure of shining silver moonlight, buried deep within your heart. How I long for you to expose it for me. Please.
Let your heart shine forth, shining out my friend. Become the magic within yourself. I know you can. It's your dream.